Hey guys, what is going on and welcome back to What Shall We Do Next? I'm Mike, your host, and I hope you guys are having the best day ever. Before I get started guys, please subscribe if you are new here and you haven't already done that. We're on the road to 150,000 subscribers and I would love you to join me on this journey. So hit subscribe right now and join the fam. And also guys, go follow me on all my social media. Links are in the description. I have Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and even Snapchat. So go follow me on all of those. And guys, make sure you have your notifications on. That way you get notified every time I upload a video. Thank you. But what's going on guys? What's going on? And today we are back with something that's been highly requested. That's right. We are returning to our roots. And we are going back in time three years, guys. It's been three years since I did Paranormal America. Can you believe that? That's insane. But today is the first episode of Paranormal America Season 2. Oh, I'm so excited. So that's right, guys. Today we are on Season 2, Episode 1 of Paranormal America. Traveling the 50 states of the United States, heading west to east and looking at all the creepy stuff that's happened in each state along the way. Which currently brings us to Washington. But before we get started on that, guys, we have to jump right over to, say it with me, guys, say it with me for old time's sakes, come on, Paranormal America. <laughs> Welcome to Paranormal America. Whew, it's like being back in time. Oh my god. Today we are talking about Mel's Hole, which is located in Washington State. Now the story of Mel's Hole... The story of Mel's Hole has been around since the 90s, I believe 1997, uh, but the hole itself has been around for a long, long time. Many, many years. Long before even the Native Americans were there. And this hole is believed to have some kind of strange stories revolving around it. But enough of the jibber jabber, let's jump right over to the story. Mel's Hole By far, the most well-known such mysterious hole first came to public knowledge on February 21st, 1997 when the late, great radio talent Art Bell host of the legendary radio show Coast to Coast AM had a guest join him on the air who called himself Mel Waters and claimed to own a stretch of secluded rural property in Katitas County, Washington, near Manistash Ridge that's apparently had something rather strange going on. As Bell listened on, as calm and unflappable as always, Waters would, over the course of a series of several shows, weave a truly increasingly bizarre tale of a mysterious hole in the property, and which seemed to defy and warp reality as we know it. The legendary hole was apparently long known in the area as the Devil's Hole, and supposedly measures around nine feet across, with the strange addition of seemingly hand-placed bricks lining the interior down to a depth of around 15 feet, after which it drops off into, well, no one really knows. According to Waters, the hole had been in the area since humans had first inhabited the region, and natives and early settlers found that anything they threw into the hole would vanish into the yawning void without ever issuing any sound of actually hitting the bottom of any kind. The native people of the area apparently stayed well away from the cursed hole and claimed that animals would go nowhere near it. Waters himself said that he began to use the bizarre hole as some sort of garbage dump. And after never hearing a sound of even the heaviest objects connecting and no sign of the hole filling up, he became increasingly obsessed with the idea that it may in fact be bottomless. To test his odd theory, Waters told Bell that he had concocted an experiment in the summer of 1996 wherein he would rig a fishing line over the hole with a one pound weight attached and lower it until it hit the bottom to see how deep it really was. This would apparently turn out to be easier said than done, as he claimed to have used spool after spool of line without ever reaching the bottom 
and he estimated that it had to be at least a staggering physics defying 80,000 feet deep. Waters also discovered at the time the unsettling fact that shouting down into the hole produced no echo and radios brought near it would sometimes pick up strange things such as unidentified voices and old-fashioned music from another era materializing from out of the ether. Mel's dog were also apparently completely terrified of the hole, absolutely refusing to go anywhere near it. This is already quite weird enough as it is, but what would come to be known as Mel's hole would prove to be even stranger still. Waters claimed in one of his interviews that a local man had once thrown his recently deceased dog down into the hole, and that it had come back to him from the dead, of which he would say, one guy claimed he threw in his departed canine down into the hole, and the guy that did it swears the dog actually came back to him. He was a hunter, and he was out there hunting, and he saw the same dog. He had the same collar, and he had the same metal thing on his collar there, and he said it was the same dog, and he says he knew he had thrown the dog into the hole. The initial interview with Bell created a sensation that propelled the story of Mel's hole firmly into the pantheon of great unexplained paranormal phenomena. And pretty soon, it was being excitedly discussed and debated all over the place. Waters would end up having more interviews with Bell over the years, during which it came out that he had been experiencing some unusual activity since his story had been made public. In one incident, he was allegedly heading out to the hole to perform another experiment when he was warned away from approaching by some official looking gentleman who told him that the area had been closed off due to a plane crash. Waters claimed that at the time he had noticed some personnel nearby who appeared to have been wearing some sort of biocontainment suits. When Waters demanded to be let in, he was apparently told in no uncertain terms that he would face serious repercussions if he should try and do so. The government then apparently leased the land from him and paid him handsomely to have him relocate to Australia, all while denying that anything had happened at all. Waters would go on in a later interview to claim that he had spent two years in Australia before returning back to the United States despite alleged warnings against doing this. After arriving, he said that he had been removed from a bus headed for Washington by police and dumped two weeks later onto the streets of San Francisco with IV needle marks on his arm, some of his teeth missing, and no memory of what had happened to him. He still managed to make it back to his hometown, where he had then been menaced by mysterious strangers dressed in black and had seemingly been under constant surveillance. As to his land, he was told that it had to be taken under control of the government. And oddly enough, it seemed to have been erased from an early mapping system called Terra Server, a sort of early version of Google Earth. All of this talk of the government conspiracies reinvigorated interests in the mysterious Mel's Hole. And that is the end of that. Wow, that was a pretty crazy story. I wonder if it's true or not. I don't know. I mean, it's kind of strange about the whole government getting involved and stuff like that and seizing his land. It's it's pretty crazy. And then paying him, I believe it was $250,000 a year to move to Australia. <sighs> crazy stuff, man. Who knows what's going on out there? But my question to all of you guys for question of the day is, do you believe this is true or do you believe this is just a made up story? Maybe he made it up for publicity or something like that. I don't know. I mean, it's pretty crazy. I got to admit, it's like, it's pretty crazy about the whole government thing, but I'm starting to wonder if maybe he just found a well, like an old well, um, or maybe it was just a hole that was fabricated on how deep it actually goes. Maybe it was just an old well that goes pretty deep, but it was not, you know, 15 miles deep. I don't know. I don't know. But let me know what you guys think. That is question of the day. God damn it. I knew I was forgetting something, guys. I forgot the magic eight ball. <laughs> okay, sorry guys, next episode we will have the Magic 8-Ball. But one thing I didn't forget is random fact of the day. Do you guys remember that? 
Well, I have a random fact for you all today. And today's random fact of the day is, did you know that space smells like a mixture of diesel fuel and barbecue, according to astronauts? Apparently, this is due to the dying stars. <sighs> Pretty crazy stuff, huh, guys? But guys, if you enjoyed this video and you are happy that Paranormal America is back, baby, hit the like button down below. That really helps me out. Let's see if we can go for 500 million likes on this video. I would really appreciate that. And if you guys are still watching right now, go look in the bottom of the description for the secret comment code. Shh, don't tell anyone. It's a secret. I want you to take that code, put it in the comment section. It proves to me that you watched the video till the very end and you found it. So thank you guys so much for watching. I love you all. And remember the most important thing, chase your dreams. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.